Today's Angle is brought to you by Chaos Tech, Tuffy Boat, The Musky Shop, Vex and Fishing, Custom X, Socks Assault, and Lee Lures Custom Bait. And that is where we'll be January 5th, 6th, and 7th at the 2018 Chicago Muskie Expo. We hope that you'll come out and join us. We'll be there for the duration of the weekend, hanging out in the Today's Angler slash Lee Lures booth. And for those of you that have not been to a muskie show, it's pretty interesting without a doubt. You want to talk about the finest collection of muskie, oh, I won't say the word, let's just say lots of muskie stuff. Yeah, to look at right. and crazy people a lot of musky crazy people <laughs> yeah yeah it's kind of an eclectic group would you say it's a cult we'll be out there and uh looking forward to chatting with you guys uh that'll take place at the what is that st charles st charles pheasant run resort yeah pheasant run resort uh if you have, need any info on that uh just check out their website or the musky expo chicago musky expo.com we'll leave all that in the description I'll quit trying it, to remember. Make it, it easy. Make it easy. Set a scratch in my head here. What? What? Where is that? What? When? Pops. Sorry. <laughs> At any rate, Robbie and I are on our last venture musky trip yeah. for the season. I've been out the last three or four days trying to catch a musky, and uh, it's not. It has not been great. But there's a chance at a really big musky, so that's what I'm going for. <sighs> you always say there's a chance, but there is a chance. <laughs> I don't know why this guy's joining me. I mean, I told him what my results the last three days, and it has not been good, so whatever. <laughs> Robbie's bringing in the big guns. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> More like bringing in the black cloud. Hey, the cloud is, the sun is out. The cloud's got to clear. Hopefully, there'll be a big muskie coming up soon. Okay, I think we're getting there. Get a bait on and get casting and be prepared to not catch a single muskie today. How's that for a vote of confidence? Robbie was just telling me that uh, not being confident brings out the big girls to play. That looks promising. Can you say hang time? Okay, folks, here we go. This is our last hurrah for 2017 muskie season. I must say, and I think Robbie would tend to agree. It's uh, not exactly been hot. <laughs> this fall has certainly been somewhat challenging. Wasn't even able to put out, Robbie, my musky guarantee on Facebook. Oh, that's not good. No. Yeah, that, that's just, it's just not happening. Very, fairly tough fall. Was nice to get over to St. Clair and bust on a couple of those dumb ones. <laughs> <laughs> a lot dumber than these fish. Man, these fish are not for the faint of heart. These deep water sconies, they don't give it up easy. Oh, got him! Look at this huge walleye! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh I watched this walleye bite this this bait. I watched it happen. You want a spot lock? Bait is out. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, you don't think walleyes hit big baits in the fall? What? I just saw a mouth and I'm like, why is the tail so close to the mouth? We were sitting, you're casting in... 28 feet of water, so that thing came all the way up. That is weird. That is crazy sick. And then, oh, there goes the pants. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. There you go. All At right. any rate, Let me let's, let's get on with the important stuff. Okay, well, I didn't design it to catch walleyes, but the Lee Lures Leviathan apparently gets the seal of approval on big waldos let's look at this thing okay okay so it's not a super monster giant but look at the gut on this thing i mean it's a solid mid 20 inch waldo 
crazy. What's that weird yeah. mark? Look at the little birthmark here. Something. That's kind of wild. Ski mark? Here, we'll show the pretty side. Look at that. What a giant wall, though. Okay, enough of that. Let's try to catch a muskie. Typical late fall walleye. Right by. Oh yeah, there, yeah, I'm back in the lake. Okay, well, I got my hands all wet for that. Hopefully the next time will be a giant lunge. That was sick. The bait was just coming into view. Did the big pause. I think I, t I don't know what happened. Never mind. we'll watch what happens, see what actually happens instead of talking about it. Right? Four times around, Robbie. Right, right. right. Isn't that what happened? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, game on. Oh, no way. It, I don't know if it touched it. I'm not positive, but it was definitely a musky. musky really? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not giant, not giant. That's... It was right up on it, and I set the hook, and then obviously it, because it looked like it ate it. I'm, I can't even tell you if it actually ate it. I can. I I cannot tell you if that fish ate the bait. I just was all of a sudden it was right up on it. And my bait was so deep, this thing's running like 10 feet. It was not big. It was like 40 inch class fish, maybe 42. I feel stupid telling you <laughs> that I have no idea if that fish actually ate it. It just was right on it so fast. I, I can't tell you, man. I really can't, but you're probably wondering, well, did you feel it? Did you feel the nibble leak? You just don't really feel them when they're that close on you often. You know, one common question I always get, how do you work a dive and rise jerk bait on the figure eight? Well, in all reality, I don't do it. I actually stop the bait when it gets within view like this and give it a really long, give it some hang time, then sweep the bait, give it some more hang time. Obviously this bait has got a bunch of lead in it. This thing is running 10 feet down. So I actually replace the figure eight with that extra long pause. That's my trigger right there, instead of going into the eight. I just think, I don't know, that just makes more sense on this bait style. So many fish we catch on this bait are right on that end where the bait starts to ascend back up to the top. Just give it that long pause and the hang time, just like a glide bait. Absolutely deadly boat side maneuver. The death pause for dive and rise jerk baits. Any words of wisdom as we're wrapping up the final hour not, of our season? Not good. But I, I, we, I guess we can share some one video clip um, about three or four days ago. I caught my first muskie jigging, so that was really cool. Uh, this clip's kind of cool. Uh, it shows a really good job of like what it looks like when you're actually jigging up a muskie. So we can go to that clip now. Oh, am I jigging up a muskie right now? Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, 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 it's gonna bite. Here we go. Got her, got her, fish on. Fish on. Oh, nice muskie, little guy. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> I just got a candy bar. That's my first jigging muskie ever. Sar, so Sar cool. on the screen started going up, going up. That thing bit. Not a big one, but my first jigging muskie ever. Thanks for the candy, Mike. <laughs> I just shoved two big hands in my face. That was awesome. That was, nice job. that was on a Poseidon, too. Usually you don't jig that bait, but I figured it looks good. And yeah, that worked out really well. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the graph, what it looks like when you're jigging muskies. We froze the frame here. Let me get this in focus. So those arcs you see on the screen are, is my bait. And below it, you see that bigger blob which is actually the muskie. I saw that, and then I started speeding up my, not speeding up, but uh, pulling my bait higher and higher, and you can finally see where that muskie bit. And it bit in 15 feet, and we were jigging in 22 feet of water. So paying attention to your graph and raising up that, raising up the bait 
definitely triggered that fish. So that is awesome. That's my first jigging muskie ever. That was cool. All right, so I got that fish on a Chaos Tackle Poseidon, actually jigging it. You obviously most of swim this far, but I wanted to try jigging it. It's awesome because it goes straight up and down, up and down, and it hardly ever gets snagged. So that's why I thought it would be a great, great jigging bait. So that's why I got it on. Let's go see. Let's see this pretty muskie. All right. Let's see this little Roifer snapper. Look at those little jaws. Pretty, pretty muskie. Awesome. I'll take these between the giants that we're about to catch. You know, it passes the time, and I don't mind it. Especially jigging, a way that I've never caught a muskie before. So that was awesome. Let's get this little whippersnapper back in the water. All right. There she goes. I'm sure she, oh, bye. Goodbye. Let's go get a big one. So yeah, that was a fun, fun muskie. But um, there was a lot of good things that happened this year. Got some rather good footage uh, um, about to come out this winter, which we're definitely excited to show you guys. It was fun fishing with all the people, different people hopping in different boats, setting up cameras, different places. And we're really looking forward to fish with more of you guys that are actually watching these videos. Um, a good opportunity to see us, like we said before, is at the, at the muskie shows coming up here. So we wanna talk with you guys. We wanna know where you guys are fishing, whatever. Um, any bite, just give us, it's easy to reach us and, and we're definitely game to go wherever. That's, that's the fun part about this deal. We also wanted to give a big thanks to the, our sponsors, of course, Chaos Tackle, Tuffy Boats, now the muskyshop.com, Vex and Fishing. Without those guys, just would not be possible. And most importantly, this would not be possible without you guys watching our content. It has been my lifelong dream to bring this to you guys. Finally living the dream without Robbie, I wouldn't have been able to do this either. So thank you so much. We really appreciate you watching. Looking forward to the winter season and getting a chance to meet a lot of you people.